o'clock U.S. Eastern Time. And then tomorrow, a big, big match at 1.30 Eastern Time with Susquehanna I will have for you as well. And this is going to be interesting to see how this all shakes itself out. But looking forward to a very interesting match. Like I said, this is a big physical team is White, the Whitewater Warhawks. So I, I think the aggressive serving that Jenny McDowell's team has been focused on is going to be very important here because that could prove a difference maker, especially early on in the match when you're trying to gain momentum. Getting going there could make some difference. And the defensive work that has been done by a variety of players, frankly, all the players on this roster have been playing outstanding defense, could be very, very important. And now the teams are lined up at the ends. Both teams in white. It's actually white with a little bit of black trim for the Warhawks and Emory in their home white and blue. Emory will be going from left to right. The Warhawks from right to left. He's meeting at the net now to shake hands. Referees are up on the stand. We're about ready for volleyball. As I say, it will be the usual suspects. Pretty much, I think, on the court. with some dif differences there depending on the wings go but at least Thompson back in the usual position as be being the outstanding Libro that she is. Morgan McKnight dominating outside attacker will be there. And Leah Saunders, the dominating right side attacker, will be present. And it'll be Charlize Blair as one of the middles. Sarah Carr, who had an excellent match earlier on, will probably start out, start out as one of the and there she is in the back row. The Warhawks will start out serving. They have won the toss and will serve, and we are underway, best of five to 25. This one not passed well to start out. Spray balled over. Warhawks up, tipped, dug. Thompson brings it over. Partially blocked, dug. Serve outside, McKnight hammers, they're all home. First kill goes to Emery. Great set from serve and a hammering attack from McKnight. And it will be served to start out with the serve for Emery and I'll be interested to see if this aggressive serving continues and I think it will. And it has, pass well though, tipped, dug. Serve outside, McKnight. This one will be dug, roll shot. Dug up by Carr. Right side. Off the block and down. Saunders through the block, down the block, whatever you want to call it. It's down. It's a point 2-0. And serve going back will continue with her serve. 2-0 Eagles. First part of set one. This one passed off the net. The net violation called. Jenny McDowell talking to the down official for a second, but we can play on. One looking at two. And that serve did not go. And the Warhawks probably know they've got to serve tough to keep Emory out of what has been an outstanding offensive series. And now it's Morgan McKnight. Third her 1,000th kill in her Emory career. She'll be back to serve now. Tough serve, but pass, but well back. Gonna be a roll shot over to the Eagles. Can they convert? Don't think so. Somehow kept alive, I don't know how. That's, 
That's overruled and called out. That was well out, and I'm not sure what the lines person was looking at, but I'm way up three stories up, and that ball was out by a good foot and a half, so it was still called for Emory, 4-1 Eagles. Tough serve, but this one passed well. Tip, Doug. And there's Tara Martin, also with fresh legs, did not play in that first set. Nicely swung at by Martin, 5-1 Eagles. That's wide, went down the line, but did not catch the line. It's wide, 6-1. Eagles looking good to start out here. Another tough serve, pass well. Tipped, dug up by Thompson. Back, right side, back row, and somehow, wow, Saunders fought through a block on a very tight set, and there is a timeout taken by the Warhawks. Wisconsin Whitewater saw this slipping away in a hurry and said, we need to talk. Probably a good move. It's already 7-1 Eagles here in the early part of set one. And by now, people have seen that the Eagles get on a roll like they do. Well, we know what's going to happen. And they have started out with very strong play in all parts of the game. Offense especially looks extremely good right now. Emory with four kills on five swings hitting 800 so far. Wisconsin Whitewater only one kill so far with two errors hitting minus 111. So a quick timeout taken by the Warhawks. Probably to try and slow down the Eagles a little bit. McKnight will go back to serve. And again, Emory serving very aggressively. They're gonna miss some at time, but they're serving tough. Every ball is coming out with the mission of being a difficult ball to handle. This one handled pretty well. That's long. And that was Ashton Dahl, who I mentioned, the lone senior on this roster, who tried to find hands, missed it. 8-1, Eagles. Flat serve, this one passed off the net. Dug up. Blocked. Blocked again and down. Combination of Blair and Saunders there. Two blocks in a row from that combo, and if I'm the Warhawks, I would say, let's go somewhere else. That is a very nasty blocking combination. 9-1 Eagles. Dump and Doug. Saunders. That deep corner shot is lethal. It's 10-1 Eagles. They look extremely poised. Playing really good defense thus far. 10-1 Eagles. McKnight's serve continues. Another flat, nasty serve. And this one finally, deep line. Good job by the Warhawks, slowing down the momentum. The Libro goes back to serve. This is number 20, Morgan Jensen. She's one of the many freshmen on this roster. This is a young team, two looking at 10. First part of set one. Tough serve, dug nicely by Thompson. We get in the middle. Dug up, nicely done by the Warhawks. Right side. Blocked and down. There's that strength and power coming through. The Warhawks are a big physical team. They run 5'11 or 6 foot nearly every position on the floor. They're going to get their share. Three looking at 10. This one goes in the net. That aggressive serving for the Warhawks not really working out so far. And now we got Thompson back to serve the outstanding Libro. Also has had really, really good serving this weekend. 11-3 Eagles. Back row, be a free ball to the back row. Outside. Tara Martin with a palm. 
tough serve. Of course, a ball just tossed over the net to the Eagles. Emory up by nine. Another tough serve. This one passed well off the net. But it's going to be hands there. That's going to go back over to the Warhawks. That hit the high hands. Nicely done. Four serves, eight. Paige Manson, the other setter, comes in to serve. Tough serve, but handled well by Saunders. Combination set, but dug. Thompson keeps it alive. Can she get, can it be kept? It can be kept alive. Emory will have to play defense. Blocked, but out. Going back to the Warhawks. Saunders was there, but using the high hands worked that time. Nicely done. Warhawks are a very skilled team. Five serves 12. Thompson with that pass. Right side. Doug. After the block, it was Doug. Tipped by Martin and Doug. Tipped. Doug up. Dumped over and that's called down. Boy, boy, Cassie Serb knows when to use that play. Very nicely done. may come over, it did not, but kept alive. Martin, oh my, radical angle that time. That ball's practically undiggable. You simply don't play for a ball to go on that angle. 14-5, Emory by nine. This is Saunders, the left-hander back to serve. I say that because left-handed servers tend to cause passers trouble, like that. Service ace, 15-5. Emory by 10 with 10 to go. They've already entered the zone. Second timeout taken by Wisconsin Whitewater as they want to try and slow down this, what has been so far, a very potent Emory attack on all fronts, offense, defense, serving the works. It's 15-5. Emory looks very, very good right now. Hitting 412 right now. Now blocks are even at one each, and this is a big blocking team is Wisconsin Whitewater. Chloe Buescher has got the lead in kills right now for Wisconsin Whitewater with uh, three. Sanders and Martin have three apiece for the Eagles. And Saunders will go back and serve again. It is 15-5. continuing to file in for what should be an outstanding match here. Saunders, though, she's going to try and keep her serve going, and she does. No, she does not. That one goes long, so timeout. I'm not saying it had the impact on Saunders, but timeouts often have that impact on servers in general. Six looking at 15. This will be Chloe Buescher back to serve. Tough serve. Bump set, Martin off the hands and down. Martin doing a nice job so far with her attack. 16-6, Sarah Carr who had an outstanding, outstanding match in her first match will go back to serve. She hit nicely in the front row as well as bringing her usual excellent play in the back row. Tough serve there. Blocked, tug up, Carr keeps it alive. Thompson will put it over, and that one goes long. Thompson trying to go deep, and she went deep all right, just a bit too deep. Seven serves 16. Emily Gillen, one of the outside sophomores, had a good match earlier in the day against Susquehanna. This is well passed. 
hammered down, and this is a player we saw for the first time on our air. Rosanna O'Dowd, the nice attack there, nicely done, 17-7, and Emory's side out offense has been impeccable in this first set. And as this serve doesn't clear, 8, 17, Kelsey Means with that attack. And that's going to be one of those roll over the net aces that happens every once in a while, and it happened that time for the, the Warhawks. Aaron Erb there, the outside, an outside sophomore. This one passed off the net, back row for Carr. She's done very well back there, and this one passed up. It's going to be hit off the net. Thompson with a nice pass. McKnight dug, dug up, free ball over. Serve went over in two, Doug. Be a free ball back, and a free ball back again. Blocked. And Blair got that one, but it goes out of bounds. 10-17, and here come the War, the Warhawks. They are a very formidable team, especially when they get their off their defense going at the net. Short serve. Outside, McKnight. Angle, radical angle again, 18-10. Cassie serve back to serve now. Big. Front, physical front line for the Eagles. This one passed well off the net. Going to be a free ball back and out. Tough serve by Cassie Serb. It is 19 to 10. Emory by nine with six to go. They are well in the zone now. Oh, that wasn't out by much, but not much at all. Serve going for a tough serve, and that's part of the Emory game plan as you go for tough serves. That one just a bit much, 11 serves, 19. Tight, tight pass. Blair gets it over. Somehow Cassie Serb kept that ball alive, but I have no idea how she did. Great job there by Blair. Just knocking it off the high hands, 20-11. Side out offense continues to be good. McKnight now, she had a great serving run first part of this set. 20, looking at 11. And that is a difficult serve. It is coming very flat, dug up by Martin. Right side. Partially blocked, dumped, ah! And Martin, I think, had that block because the setter tried to go over. And Martin said, not this time, thanks very much. 21-11. Tight pass, dumped and down. Nicely struck, well done. Ashton Dahl that time with a smart shot to the deep corner. 12, serves 21. Libro back to serve. Morgan Jensen. Good serve, but pass well. Right side, but blocked. Most of the work there done by Chloe Buser, a 6-1 outside hitter. She is a, a big presence at the net, and this is a big physical team at the net. 13-21, short serve. Thompson takes over. Middle. Did not go after Blair got it over somehow. 22-13, and now it'll be Elise Thompson coming in as crowd continues to file in here for what should be an outstanding match. Great to see a big crowd on hand. Flat serve. Passed pretty well, though. That goes wide. Credit that to Saunders for putting up a block and taking away line. 23-13. One again, passed pretty well, fired outside, roll shot, dug up. Martin, 
Oh, that didn't miss by much. But it did miss, just a touch. 14 serves 23. Good defensive work by the Warhawks. Great pass on a tough one. Off the hand, Saunders again. That right side attack has been go-to and we have set point on the board for the Eagles here in set one. 24 looking at 14. Side. Roll shot. Oh, that one's that's one that Martin wants back because she had a beat on that one. Just didn't quite get it. I think it may have been thought it was a little bit easier than she thought it was, but hey, it happens. 15 serving 24. And the Warhawks are certainly a team that no one would take lightly. Another great pass by Thompson outside. And Tara Martin finished it off. She wanted it back from that situation, 25-15. The Eagles take that one in decisive, decisive fashion. 25-15, teams are switching sides. Excellent first set by Emery. Give you a quick look at some stats here as they get updated, and they are updated. Emery hitting 312. 14 kills, only four errors. Wisconsin Whitewater, seven kills, eight errors, hitting minus 32, and you simply can't win many volleyball matches. I don't care who you're playing if you're hitting that way. Emory out digs. Blocks are even, two apiece. 15, 15 uh, to 12 digs for Wisconsin Whitewater. Chloe Boucher with four kills. Ashton Dahl with two. Emma Ask, I should say, Emma, yeah, it's Emma Ask with a, a kill. Didn't see much out of Emery Gillen, nothing out of Aaron McNeil, which would surprise me a little bit. From a defensive perspective, Haley Mockentoon with five digs. She played well back there. And for the Eagles, well, it was Tara Martin. Five kills on 10 swings. Leia Saunders with four kills. That outside, left side, right side combo works well. Morgan McKnight with two. Cassie Serb, Rosen O'Dowd, Charlie Splair with one apiece. And the teams are still in their huddles. We've got a minute to go until we start again. But everyone hitting at pretty high efficiency for the Eagles. Great job moving the ball around by Cassie Serb. Defensive work in the back by Elise Thompson with five, five digs, but she also runs that back row so efficiently, not just from a defensive perspective, but passing and making sure everyone's in the right place all the time. And you, and you have a hard time really figuring out that that's what a, uh, a great Libro does. So Emory hitting 312. And Wisconsin Whitewater hitting 032. So you know they got a lot to talk about as the team switch side now. Emory will now be going right to left. If both teams are in whites, it makes it a little bit confusing, I know. Wisconsin Whitewater having had a very tough couple of days here in Atlanta. And I don't expect them to go quietly into that good night at all. So teams back on the courts, pretty much the same configuration it is for the Eagles. And a great crowd on hand for this match this afternoon for the Eagles. I'm sure Wisconsin's got their fans here as well. That's a great program under the tutelage of Stacy Boudreaux, who has been there 15 years, does a great job with this team. They're usually in the top 10 on a pretty consistent basis. Will be Emery starting out with serve this time. That'll be Kelsey Means starting it out. As 
We are about ready to get underway here in set number two. Emory having won the first, 25-15. Tough serve, but passed pretty well. Off the block and down. First point goes to the Warhawks, nicely done. That one was Emily Gillen, and she will be back to serve. I believe that was Gillen. Hard to tell from up here sometimes. Sorry if I got that wrong. Tough serve, pass well. McKnight. In between the front left and back right, excuse me, back front left, front right and back right defenders, undiggable. We're tied at one. Cassie serve now in. Again, now the passing is cleaned up a little bit, but that's a partial block by Blair. Dug up. McKnight off the hands. It's going back to the Eagles. McKnight got a got a piece of a hand that's all you got to do is get a piece of a hand they don't put style points on kills 2-1 serve another tough serve very flat this one is passed and a roll shot but a great angle very nicely struck that time and that's Aaron McNeil who we hadn't heard much from in set one and she is a 6-2 sophomore outside hitter 2-2 we are tied here in set two Tough serve. Nice job by Thompson, keeping it alive. Dug up. Again, Thompson becomes the setter. Rolled over. Emory's going to have to play defense to get this point. Tipped. Dug. Thompson becomes setter. That's going to be called the double. Thompson became setter. It was called the double. Referee's going to call it tight, looks like, on both sides. That's okay as long as it's consistent. Three serving, two. Whitewater with a lead, the Warhawks do. Ace, something you don't see happen very often. You don't see Emory giving up many free aces. That won't happen again, I don't think. 4-2, Warhawks. Dug up that time by Carr. That's long. Nice idea to move. Saunders inside, but that was a little bit long. 5-2. These are very good serves being put up by Haley Mockentune. This one passed off the net. No one there to get it. And there's a quick timeout taken by Jenny McDowell. Her team not doing what they need to be doing. Probably going to talk about passing to start with here. That's a couple of balls that weren't touched, and that's unusual. 6-2 Warhogs here at Warhog. I keep saying Warhogs. It's War Warhawks, excuse me. Warhawks. They are the number seven team in the country, although that may change after having taken the loss to St. Mary's they took earlier. But long way to go yet in this tourney. So we'll take a look and see if the Eagles come out a little bit different passing formation if that was just a communication discussion. Six two Warhawks. It looked to be in about the same place. Discussion happening back there between Sarah Carr and Leah Saunders. Six looking at two. Another tough serve. Passed by Carr. Outside. On the line. Three serve six as McKnight said good night on that one. She will go back to serve, and she had a very nice couple of serving runs in set one. Emory is serving tough. It is part of their persona. This one passed well, though. Tipped, dug up, and kept alive. Outside. Locked. And that one goes down the second time round. Aaron McNeil coming alive here in set number two. And McKnight going out now on the Emory side for a serving substitution. That being Maureen Schick. 7-3 as the run is over quickly for the Eagles. 
Tight pass. That's going to be a lift call against Blair, and I'm not surprised. 8-3. Emory Bench making some noise. Short serve. Pass well. Right side. Ah, uh, it's nice. Saunders goes up in the air and just drops her hand and it goes straight down. As I said, there is no, nothing in the asterisk about speed of attack. Four, looking at eight, Emory down four, Thompson to serve. This one passed pretty well though, outside. Dug up, outside the antenna, goes back over to Emory. 5-8, Emory now cuts it down to a three-point margin. Another good, good. Well, I was about to say good pass and good set, but it really wasn't a good set because it came over, it flipped, drifted over, and the Eagles said thanks and good night to the, on the pass, just threw it back. Six serves eight. Tough serve. Oh my, big block by Saunders. With the assist going to Rosino Dowd and a quick timeout taken now by the Warhawks. It has quickly become a one point game. It is Emory seven looking at eight for the Warhawks and Emory seems to have re recaptured his composure after that timeout and a couple of more rallies. But again, not surprising this is a tight set. We surprised if this isn't a tight match. This is a very fine Wisconsin Whitewater team, great program. They're always a, amongst the top 10 teams in the country. Of course, you are playing the defending national champs on their home floor. And Emory has been extremely successful on their home floor. Seven looking at eight, Thompson serve continues. The outstanding Libro also a very effective setter. Another tough serve, this one passed off the net. Roll shot, Doug. Thompson, right side, my, my. That deep corner attack of Saunders should be trademarked because nobody does it like she does. We are tied at eight on a pass by Saunders. Great set by Thompson becoming the Libro, taking the Libro, becoming the setter. Another tough serve. This one passed pretty well. Blocked. Kick set. It's good. I'll be darned. You see that once in a blue moon. The Libro, Morgan Jensen with the kick save, and it worked. You just don't see it happen very often. I'll be darned. That time it did. The kick save gets the ball back, and the Libro, Jensen, will go back and serve now at the kick save. 9-8. Doug that rolled over the net. Serve got it. Martin, tight. Uh, that's a smart play by Rosen O'Dowd. Very intelligent. Just threw it in the front right corner. Very smart play. Knew no one was going to be there. We're tied at nine. Leia Saunders to serve at nine apiece. Tough serve. This one way back. Dug up. And Thompson will bring it over. Emory has to play defense to win. They do, but it's blocked out. That will go back to the Warhawks. 10-9, it's a one-point game either way. Emory been unable to get on one of the runs that they got on early on in set one. And that's credit to the Warhawks offense, excuse me, Warhawk defense. Thompson with a great pass, tough. And one, because I think she probably had to. She may have been able to set that one, but probably concerned about how tight things are being called here and decided to go over and take it. We're tied at 10. 
Sarah Carr to serve, where she has been so effective. Tough serve in the middle. Dug up by Thompson. Wow. Back row. Roll shot. Kept alive. Going to be a roll shot for the Emory. Can Emory go on offense here? Right side. Locked and down. Great job there by the Warhawks. Chloe Buescher doing most of the damage there in the block. Once again, a one-point game. 11-10. Anybody's game now. This will be Buescher back, back to serve. McKnight. Oh, my, my. Morgan McKnight delivering the word that time. Kelsey Means now to serve for the Eagles. We are tied at 11. Once again, the side out offense for Wisconsin Whitewater has been outstanding here in set two. They lead 12-11, so neither side has been able to get really a set of plays going here. And that's why you have these games sometimes that go 25-23. Passed up by Carr McKnight. Dug up, it's coming over. Came over, oh boy. Lack of communication there, and that will drive coaches a little wacky. And now a two-point lead for the Warhawks. Reminder from the bench to communicate on those plays that go a little, are a little wacky. Tough serve, but handled well. Tight. McKnight. And it's 12-13, a one-point game again. Now Cassie Serba back, big, big, big front line for Emory. Can they take advantage of it and score on defense here? Tight, tight. Dumped, kept alive by Thompson on the pancake dig. Wow. Didn't come. Credit that to Thompson on the pancake. Ties us up at 13. Great job by Elise Thompson. Well done. She is such a good defensive player. Tipped, dug up by Saunders. Serve, McKnight blocked and dug. Back to McKnight, tipped and down. 14-13, Emory retakes the lead. This is the kind of set I was expecting from this Wisconsin Whitewater team. They are tough. Serb is serving some tough balls and they're handling them. And that one goes long, smart job by Wisconsin Whitewater letting that one go. We are tied at 14 apiece. Serving substitution in for the Warhawks. This is Haley Mockentune. Had some nice serves earlier. 14 apiece, game to 11. Blair dug up. Dug up again. Net violation going to be called. It went down anyway. This Warhawk team is a very, very, very scrappy bunch as well. Even if they're a big team, they keep a lot of balls alive. They retake the lead 15-14 now. Short serve. Nice job by Carr going forward. McKnight. Stuffed. That was a combination of Ashton Dahl at 6-3. And Johnny Bunkers at six foot doing the job there. 16-14. Wouldn't be surprised. See another timeout taken by Emory and a couple more points. That goes down. 17-14, and this is getting away from Emory in a hurry. But we play on. Thompson going to go over and down. And there's the timeout that 
Jenny McDowell knew she had to call 18-14, and all of a sudden, Wisconsin Whitewater has come back with a vengeance here in set two. Hitting percentages for both sides not very good this set. 136 for Emory, 167 for Wisconsin Whitewater, but this last serving run that the Warhawks have been on has been impressive. We went from being tied to Emory down four and seemed like uh, just a moment. Aaron McNeil has had a big second set here for the Warhawks with four kills. And that's made a big difference as Ashton Dahl, Chloe Buescher have, have had their moments as well. For the Eagles, Morgan McKnight continues to have big swings. Leah Saunders with hers as well. Tara Martin has been fairly quiet. It could just be the rotation that the Eagles are in. And now a substitution. Ben Wilkins coming on the court for the Eagles. So 18 looking at 14. Tough serve. Carr handles it pretty nicely. McKnight, that's handled. Be a roll shot over. McNeil, serve. That's dug up. Back row, dug up by Carr. Big rally. Until Saunders says thank you and good night. Beautiful swing by Saunders. Great set by Serb. All kinds of power. 15 looking at 18, though. It'll be McKnight back to serve. Tight pass. Dumped. Handled by Serb. Over. This time they were waiting for that dump. Thompson tried to go to Wilkins. Long rallies are favoring the Warhawks right now. It's 15-19. Emory able to put together a couple of points there, and it's now the Warhawks about to enter the zone. They're up by four with six to go. And got to redo that sub. A little too fast. Back row now. Maureen Schick in to play some defense. 19-15. This is a very fine Wisconsin Whitewater team. Came back very well after really having trouble in set one. Kept alive. That goes long. And back over to the Eagles it goes. 16 serves 19, but time running short for Emory here in set two. Elise Thompson has had some nice serves, and now would be a great time to get some if she could. 16 serves 19. And it crawled over. Each side has had one. 17-19. Wow. That one low and flat. Roll shot, Doug. Can Emory convert? Saunders says, yes, we can. 18-19. At one timeout left for Wisconsin Whitewater. I think Stacy Boudreaux is thinking about it, but not yet. Another tough serve, but passed well. Outside, but a little bit off the net. Just out, and I mean by a whisker. 19 apiece. The game to six, anybody's game. Thompson has been serving wicked balls. Another one. This is a tough one. Dug up. And slammed down on the overpass. That was Ashton Dahl again, the senior with a good job there to slamming that one down. Good job by Ashton Dahl. And Wisconsin Whitewater leads 20-19, one point game. 
Good pass. Right side. No answer for Saunders over there in this set. 20 apiece. It will be Saunders back to serve. And don't forget, she's a weapon out of the back row, both with serving and she can hit from back there pretty, pretty well. 20 apiece. It's a game to five. Tough serve, but pass well. Thompson with another great dig. Back row. Dug up. Thompson again with the dig. Oh, my. Cassie serve over in two. Nobody does it better. The left-hander gets up and went. swings one down. 21-20. And there's that timeout that Wisconsin Whitewater had left. Both sides have used all their timeouts, and this kind of a set, you would not, not surprised to see that. Wow, what a play by Serb going over in two and knocking it straight down. Emery up by one, four to go. What a great set of volleyball this has been. Been a lot of back and forth, great defensive work by both sides. So Thompson will have the pressure on her to serve another one of the balls she's been serving. That's part of the reason for the time. The other reason was, I'm sure Stacy Boudreaux, being the experienced and outstanding coach she is, knew this was slipping away quickly. Actually, I'm sorry, it will not be Thompson. It will be Saunders to serve. Got a little out of my uh, pattern there. Saunders will serve the left-hander back. Twenty-one twenty. Anybody's set. No, no timeouts left. We're playing on to the end, except maybe for substitutions. Tough serve. Pass pretty well. Thompson with the dig outside. Martin found a way. Thompson got it back up. Martin dug up tight. Dug again. Dumped. Oh, not over yet. Thompson with another one. Right side. Blocked and out. And that's Rosin O'Dowd. Big rally. 22 apiece. And those substitutions I mentioned. One for Wisconsin Whitewater there, 22-20. It's a game to three or two. Saunders again, been serving tough, but Wisconsin Whitewater's been passing well. Not this time, this one's off the net. Never came, 23, and you count that to the serve of Saunders. That is a wicked left-handed serve. 23-20. Another tough one. Double hit called, and that comes off the pass. That was a very difficult pass to handle. Tough call to make in that point in time. Not a lot of complaining, but it's tough timing of it, because that puts set point on the board for the Eagles, 24-20. Tight again. Dug up. Back to Martin after she makes the dig. Dug up again. Kept alive and over. Nice job. Right side. Dug up again. Blocked and dug. Martin blocked and still dug. Great defensive work by the Warhawks. They have a chance now to convert. Touch. Touch called, 21, 21, looking at 24, set point still on the board for the Eagles. Nice rally, great defensive work by Wisconsin Whitewater. They're keeping that play alive. Couple of substitutions in. Paige Manson, the other setter, will come in to serve and she'll set from the back row, I'm pretty confident. Martin, another great, Excuse me, Thompson, a great pass. Martin had that touch. This is tight. 
Somehow Thompson kept it alive, but nope, nobody else able to get it. 22-24. No timeouts left. Team coming together to talk quickly. Two-point game. This is a big point right here. Can Emory close it out here? And make sure because Wisconsin Whitewater totally capable of still winning this set. Do not kid yourself. 22 looking at 24, set point number three on the board for the Eagles. Nice pass. And that takes care of it. Roseno Dowd says thank you and I'm done here. 25-22. The Eagles take it in a very tightly contested second set. It may not have been pretty with offensive numbers, but very well played defensively by both sides. 25-22 is your final. Emory hitting percentage went up some in there towards the end of that setup to 225, depending on how we flash some uh, final numbers here. But uh, still very well done by the Eagles. Yep, 238 was their final and only 119 for Wisconsin Whitewater. And, and that's not a hitting percentage that any coach is going to like. But again, this was a very defensive second set. A lot of digs. Emory out digging. Wisconsin Whitewater 36 to 27. Wisconsin Whitewater out blocking Emory 5 to 4. Pretty close there. Ashton Dahl with five kills. Chloe Buescher with five. Aaron McNeil came alive in that second set, had five, especially early on in that set. She was very effective. Emily Gillen with three. For the Eagles, Leah Saunders, almost unstoppable. She was blocked a couple of times in set one, but not in set two. Ten kills, only three errors total for the match, hitting 350. Morgan McKnight, eight kills, hitting 412. Tara Martin, five kills. Cassie Serb has got three big kills. Rosino Dow with three good kills. Charlie's Blair with a kill. In the back row, Elise Thompson with 13 digs. Nicely done there. Cassie Serb doing a good job as a defensive setter as well, making some good passes, making some good plays. Both teams will switch sides again. Emory will now be going from left to right. And the Eagles in the building. Don't see the Eagle all that often here, but we're happy to see the Eagle in the building. The Eagle is in the building. I'm sure it'll be kind of like Elvis. We'll see him. Plenty of things going on on Emory's campus, I know, on a, on a Saturday afternoon. Emory now hitting 270 for the match. And Wisconsin Whitewater, to their credit, great defensive work in that second set, kept it close. Uh, they've only hit 055 for the entire match, and you're simply not going to win a lot of volleyball matches at that level. But their defense kept them in that second set. They only lost 25-22, and frankly could have easily won it. One play here, one play there, and they could have won. Big crowd on hand to watch this match. And they're getting their uh, entertainment this afternoon. Great to see this big crowd out watching. Hopefully you're enjoying it wherever you're in the world you're calling in or, or, or dialing in from or whatever you're doing, whatever device you're looking at us on. Finn Wilkins will start here in set number two. That's the one change I see for the Eagles. Don't see any substantial changes for the Warhawks. And it will be the Warhawks to start here, I believe, to serve in set three. I think, yes it is. Emily Gillen, who had a nice second set there, will start. It's a very young Warhawk team. A lot of sophomores, a lot of freshmen with big roles on this team. Only one senior on the roster. And we're underway in set three. This one way, way off the net, but somehow gotten over. Dug up. 
Saunders keeps that one alive. Serve will get it. Dumped down. It's kept alive. That one never came, and I think Amory Sark playing they thought the ball was down, but pancake dig by the Warhawks, and they take the first point of the third set, 1-0. Interesting looking play. Wish I had a replay, but we don't. Sometimes we do, this time we don't. It's okay. We play on. Tight pass, dumped. Served just said thank you and good night on the sink. Quick two ball over. She is so fast with that left-handed turn. We're tied at one here in set three. Tough serve, passed off the net. Roll shot over. Thompson becomes the setter. Bingo. Saunders hits the back line, and she has put on a show here this afternoon. 2-1 Eagles. Short serve. Down. That ball goes down. Nicely struck. Nice, smartly stuck by Dahl. Well done. Two, two. Outside, McKnight off the hands, but partially blocked. That one goes off the high hands for the Eagles and blocked, and Wisconsin Whitewater retakes the lead, 3-2. Remember, they held the lead for much of the second set, so not surprising. This team will not go away easily, I promise you that. Wow. That's not coming back. Saunders brought in. She started out in the rotation there on the right, on the left side, came in to the right side in the middle, hammered that ball home, 3-3. Three, three. Will be McKnight to serve now. Tough serve. Wasn't sure how it was gonna clear the net, but it did. Down, but, and way down. Nicely struck that time. And that one by Erin McNeil, and she has really come alive here in sets two and three. Four, three, Warhawks. A lot of subs, so we're taking a moment at the net here. Serving sub in. Emma Ask to serve, another one of the sophomores for the Warhawks. 4-3. Nice serve. Didn't go, but boy, it, it may it almost crawled over the net. 4-4. Four, four. And now it's Thompson back who finished up or really put Emory back on top in set number two. 4-3. That's gonna go long though. Those tough serves, unless you can hit somebody, are gonna be a little tough, and that was a little tough, but if you're going for tough serves, you're gonna miss some. 5-4, Wisconsin Whitewater. Saunders with a good pass. Double hit called. No real argument from the uh, Emory bench and Wisconsin taking a two point lead, 6-4. Dug up by Thompson, dug up again. Dumped over. Strange looking play. Outside, Martin gets a touch on it. Oh boy. Well, Thompson made good chase, but that one was dug so far off the court, I don't think anyone was gonna get that no matter what they did. 7-4 and here goes Whitewater again. They are very good. They don't, and like I said, this team will not go quietly. 21 and five, they've already lost two matches down here and they don't want to make it a third, whether they're playing Emory or not. This one passed off the net. Thompson becomes setter. Great defensive work. Serb keeps it alive. Blocked. Back and forth we go. Go 
both sides with strange looking plays, but finally Tara Martin ends it. Hammers that one through the block and very odd looking play. Nobody really got into offensive flow that time, I don't think. Five serves seven. It'll be Saunders back to serve. That's way long. Got a bit too much of that one. That's a couple of missed serves. 8-5, Wisconsin. Warhawks lead. Paige Manson, one of the setters for this team. Three-point lead. Nice pass. Blocked. Big block at the net. That one, I tell you, it's a big physical team, this Wisconsin Whitewater team. That's a combination of Chloe Buescher, the 6'1", outside hitter, and Emily Gillen. She's only listed at 5'11", but she plays bigger. It's 9'5". Thompson with a good pass. Outside. That goes wide. And there's a timeout taken by Jenny McDowell. And clearly very reminiscent of set number two in flow as an Emory is not in one. And uh, Wisconsin Whitewater seems to survive not being in flow, interestingly enough. A lot of teams can't do that, but they can. They can just rally and win long rallies, and they're very good at it. Emory not in an offensive flow here at all. And, and Wisconsin Whitewater's got four kills. They're hitting 444 early here in set number uh, three. And Emory only hitting 071, and that answers your question about why right there. You're in a bad flow, you're in a bad flow. And Jenny McDowell saw that, wanted to put a stop to it. Talk about what you could call and the flow you could get on offense. Her team's still in the huddle out of the timeout. But Emory has been here many times before in tough matches because Jenny McDowell plays everybody and she'll play anybody anywhere. She has made a point of saying that to me in our discussions. She'll play anybody anywhere and she'll take losses early in the year because she knows that leads to what happened last year, a national championship in certain situations. 10-5. Thompson with a good pass. Outside, Martin. Wide. Martin going, trying to go past that big block. 11-5. Well passed. Outside again. Hands. Dug up. Going to be a roll shot. Blocked and thrown over somehow. Serb gets it over. Right side, Thompson, great pass. That's gonna be a double. Saw that one coming. Referee calling it tight on both sides. It's 12-5 and this third set getting away from the Eagles. They need to put a stop to this serving run. And they do. Finally put a stop to that serving run, get some flow back into their offense. That one courtesy of, I believe, that was courtesy of Rosen O'Dowd stopping it. Six serves 12, Sarah Carr back to serve. Six looking at 12, Emory with a, some mount, not a mountain, but a hill to climb here. Tough serve, passed off the net. Dug up by Carr. No one there to get it. Thirteen six, and what could have been a good serving run stopped quickly. And this is Chloe Buescher back to serve. Thirteen looking at six. Outside, McKnight down. Thunderous left. Shot from the left side, puts it down. Just some flow in the offense now will be what Emory is looking for. Seven serving 13. Kelsey Means back to serve for the Eagles.
but the Wisconsin going to right side. Touch. Back to the Warhawks it goes. 7-14-7. Now you got Emily Gillen in to serve. Done some nice work at the net. And also a good defensive player and server. Car with the pass, McKnight. Stuffed. Locked down. 15-7. All Wisconsin Whitewater thus far here in set number three. It is 15-7. Well passed. Dumped, but dug. I was surprised that wasn't called. Kept alive. And hammered home that time. That courtesy of the senior, Ashton Dahl. And now we're going to make some substitutions. Emory bringing back Charlie's Blair back in. 17 6. Excuse me. Yeah. 16 to 7, my fault. Wisconsin Whitewater in the zone. Outside. McKnight. Eight looking at 16, but a still a long way to come back. Now, Emory is capable of putting a run on people, but they've got to have some consistency. They're going to have to win some up front now. Big front line. Right side, tipped. Right side, blocked. Saunders rarely gets stuffed, but she did that time. Everyone camped out waiting for, I'm afraid. 17-8. Emory needs to get their offense back on track, win or lose here in set number three. Side out offense in particular, so this couple of points will be important. And that one's going to go down. Service ace, 18-8. Jenny has one more timeout to use. She's thinking about it, but not going to call it. Thompson, tight. Tipped over and down, 19-8. And there's the timeout. Again, a lot of this is flow. And Jenny McDowell talking to her team about just that. But this Wisconsin Whitewater team had two tough matches and don't want to have, did not want to go down a third, I'm sure. So this will be an important one for both teams to come out of this. And what Emory needs to come out of this with in the next few points is just some flow to where their offense is back to where Emory's offense usually is. Timeout over, and we're back to be back to play in just a second. Wisconsin Whitewater 19 to 8, leading here in set three. Another tough serve and gone. Sarah Carr got out of the way of what was a rocket serve just by an inch. McKnight back to serve nine, looking at 19. Long way to come back for the Eagles, but I think a lot of this will be about flow. Getting back into an offensive flow, winning some points on defense as well, of course. Big block at the net, but it didn't slow down the hitter. Powerful swing that time. That's Aaron McNeil with another put away. She is a very big outside hitter. 20 serves nine. Emma asked to serve. That's going over. And the passing has let Emory down in this set, which is unusual because they have been really a good passing team. 
21-9. We're going to a set four unless something awfully strange happens here in the next about three minutes. This one passed well. Right side. Dug up. Thompson has to keep it alive. Wow. Wisconsin Whitewater is absolutely doing everything you gotta do right now. And doing it extremely well, I might add, on offense, on defense, 22-9. Martin, partially blocked and dug. Be a roll shot down and off the block and down. It wasn't even a roll shot, it was an attack. Claude Buescher with a good swing there, 23-9. It's pretty rare to see Emory take a loss like this on their home floor. But indeed, it's set point on the board for Wisconsin Whitewater, 24-9. So a lot of discussion going to be going on the Emory bench about what to do going into set four, I am sure. And Martin puts set number point 10 on the board. Thompson back to serve. And the Warhawks have a whole bushel of set points now. 10 looking at 24. Tough serve. Dug up. And Emory finds a way. 11-24. Tough serve by Thompson. And down she goes. That ball goes down, and, and that's 25-11. Wisconsin Whitewater takes it. Well played set by the Warhawks there, coming back off that first set loss, and we go, excuse me, off the first two sets, and we go to set number four. And looking at our final stats here, Really, it's all about lack of offense on the Emory side. An offense, perfect offense by Wisconsin Whitewater. They hit 520 for the set. 14 kills, one error. And Emory, eight kills, 032. And you simply don't see the Eagles play that kind of volleyball very often. But I'm sure that'll be the subject of much conversation. A lot of blocks for Wisconsin Whitewater. They've got eight total now for the match. Chloe Buescher with 10 kills, Ashton Dahl with eight, Aaron McNeil with eight, Emily Gillen with three. Nicely done all that part for Emory. Leia Saunders still with eight, Knight with 10, Tara Martin with seven, Cassie Serb's got four, Rosino Dowd has got uh, four, Charlie Flair with a kill. So it'll be interesting to see what changes or adjustments are made by both sides as we've changed sides again, of course. And now in this, in this set, Wisconsin Whitewater will be going from left to right and Emory from right to left. It's tough when both sides are wearing white to figure out who's who, I know. But Emory really, and now the, the coaching staff for the Eagles off talking on their own about what to say what to focus on here going into set four. That will not be a set that I don't think gets played on the highlight reel very often if you're Emory. And yep, I think we're gonna see some lineup changes here. I got a feeling just to do some different things possibly. I don't know that for a fact. Coaching staff now back in. But this Wisconsin Whitewater team just showed where they came in, number seven in the nation. They are a very, very good team. 
They had a couple of tough sets, but they came back roaring in set number three. Can Emory take it down, take them down in set four, or will we go five? I wouldn't put money either way right now. Very hard to say. But we're about to have Emory on the floor. Wisconsin Whitewater already back on the floor. But I will be interested to see what the Eagles come out with here offensively. Something different, I would think, but hard to say. And we are ready to go. Emory coming back on the floor now. And it could be just a turn of the rotation. I don't know. Putting the rotation in a little different spot, possibly. Giving the Warhawks something different to look at. Because they certainly were tuned in to the Emory offense and set that and set number uh, three. And now we are back on the floor. I got a feeling maybe, I got a feeling the rotation was turned at least Thompson starts out serving what she doesn't usually do, so I think that may be the big change here. We start out set number four, two sets to one, Emery. Tough serve, but again, passed pretty well. Dug up by Thompson. That's gonna be called a double. And now it's beginning to get a little bit annoying, I think, to Jenny McDowell. Again, I'm not a referee, so as long as it's called evenly, that's what matters. Wisconsin Whitewater gets the first serve, though, here in set four. Thompson with the pass. Dumped over by Martin. That goes long. Martin tried to do a bit too much. 2-0. Emily Gillen back to serve for the Warhawks. Picking up where they left off in set number three, I'm afraid. Short serve, but passed well. Dug up. Free ball back and out. Free ball then out. Emory gets it. Saunders to serve. Tight, tight, tight serve. Almost a miscommunication. And there was on the Wisconsin Whitewater side, tying it up at two apiece. Tough serve by Saunders to start things out. And I'm sure that may have been part of the messaging is we're going to have to keep these guys out of their offense because they are going to come at us with everything they got. 2-2. Two -two. Another tough serve. This one handled well. Hammered down. Rachel Butterfield with the put away there. I said there's only one senior ally. There's two seniors. She's the other one. 3-2 Warhawks. going to be passed and rolled and a free ball back to the Eagles. They need to convert these. Serb tries to go over in one. A dump. Dug up. Martin. Through the block and down that time. 3-3. Sarah Carr back in the game to serve and play good defense as she does. And McKnight back in the front row and she has been a force in the front row in this match. 3-3. Three, three. Early part of set four. Tough serve and not passed well at all. Going to be a free ball back. Thompson takes over. Right side. Dug up. Back row. 
Never came. 4-3 Eagles. Tough serves. And maybe that Emery got out of the habit of serving tough a little bit in set two, or excuse me, in set three, and that may have been something that was talked about. I don't know, of course, I'm not in the huddles. This one passed well off the net. Thompson kept it alive, dumped over. No answer for that one that time. Good try on defense, we're tied at four apiece. Just looking a lot more like set two back and forth so far. Emma asked to serve for the Warhawks. We're at 4-4, four, four, some court maintenance to be done. Did some on the Emory side. Apparently not gonna need it on the uh, Warhawk side. Tough serve by Aspa, passed well. McKnight, good night. Great set, great pass, and down, 5-4. Offensive flow looks really, really strong right now. Kelsey Means back to serve for the Eagles. Emory leads by one. Passed out, tipped, dug up, kept alive somehow. A little miscommunication there, but a dump and a, and a dig. McKnight, down and out, wow. Six four Emory now, back and forth. Close to being on both sides, some miscommunication on both sides that time, but the ball stayed alive longer than I thought it would. Means another rocket, but that one goes a bit long, but I'd rather see him long and tough than short and easy. Morgan Jensen, the Libro, to serve five, looking at six. Never came. And Wisconsin's not missed many serves. 7-5 Eagles. And now Cassie served the outstanding setter back to serve. That left hand is lethal in the back row. And it's coming over. Oh, yes, indeed. Blair right on top of it. 8-5. As I said, that left arm. And there's a timeout taken by Wisconsin Whitewater as they saw that the changes made by Emory had certainly had a difference on, on the outcome here. So not a big surprise that a uh, timeout taken there. Some readjustment to be made on the Wisconsin Whitewater side, I'm sure. For Emory, it is keep the flow going. Keep serving tough and keep making this team work very hard because they have shown if they're not made to work hard, they will fire the ball back at you at 100 miles an hour. And you don't need to see that if you're Emory. So, King's back on the floor. Serve will continue with her serve. Cassie is, that is. Emory, 8 5. Nice serve, outside, dug up by Thompson. Right side, on the line, may not have hit anybody, didn't matter, it fell on the line, 9-5, Eagles. I wasn't sure that clipped a blocker or not, didn't matter, it ended up lining right on the line, so it was a moot point. That one didn't go, but a nice run by Cassie Serb. Emory up by three. Serving subs now in, and front row subs in for the Eagles. Paige Manson, one of the setters, who has had, had some really good serving in this match. Really good. So Emory will be trying to get convert and get right back on offense again. Six serves nine.
Tough serve, but passed pretty well. McKnight, nice dig in the back row. Off the antenna. Great dig in the back row by the Libro. Morgan Jensen keeping that one alive. Didn't matter in the end. Stopped the serving run. Logan Van Rieken in to serve. 10-6, Eagles. Tough serve. Dug up. Right side. See ya. Saunders. So much power on the right side. 11-6. Wow. That ball went down in a hurry. Tough serve again. This one passed well off the net. Going to be a roll shot over. And that one just missed. Blair had the right idea. Blair had the right idea to go, go to the corner, but didn't quite get on top of it enough. Seven serves 11, four point game. Nice pass by Thompson, right side. Off the block and down, Saunders. Now they will probably block her at one point, but in the meantime, she is putting some really, really difficult balls to handle down. 12-7 and Thompson back to serve. The outstanding Libro also been really serving well. Tough serve this time. That's gonna be an ace, 13-7. Never handled it all that time. And that could have been something that was talked about was to keep the pressure on the Warhawks serving. That's going to go long, though, but it's a nice trade, an ace for an out. You'll take that trade every time. 8-13. Emily Gillen back to serve. Five, eight looking at 13. Passing important, because the Warhawks bring it as well. Saunders, blocked. Roseno Dowd that time, didn't quite get that one high enough, I think, needed to be higher. 9-13. side, good night, wow. That ball is going down in an absolute hurry. Wow, 14-9, my, my, my. Saunders back to serve now. She's also deadly at the line. As we just saw, that goes long, the push shot goes long. 15-9, Emory back up by six. Tough serve there, making an ace. And a timeout, the second one taken by the Warhawks. 16 to nine, Emory in command here in set number four. Looking much more like they did in set number one. Hitting at a 286 clip right now, and the Warhawks have not had, they are hitting at zero, two kills only in the entire fourth set. It's been the Leia Saunders show here in set number four. She's up to 16 kills now. Morgan McKnight, no slouch either at 12. Tara Martin with eight. So it's combined effort as it always is in volleyball, but Saunders has been putting on a show. Be Saunders going back to serve again. It's always important the first serve after an opponent calls a timeout to get this one in, I think. 16 looking at nine. And it 
goes in. Passed off the net. Dug up. Kept alive. Thompson got it. Kept alive and over. Off the net. Thompson again. Finally. Third time through, but good defensive work by the Eagles. Elise Thompson doing an excellent job on defense that time. 10 serving 16. Can Emory get right back on offense with a put away? Haley Mockentune to serve. Back row. My, my, I told you. Leia Saunders is deadly front row and back row, whether it be hitting or attacking or serving. 17-10. Sarah Carr to serve. Tough serve, but pass well. Doug, unable to be controlled, though. 11 serve, 17. Emma Ask to serve for the Warhawks. Out. That's going to go long. Let go. Carr back there directing traffic. 18-7. Emory has entered the zone. They're up by seven with seven to go. That's what I call the time when a team has a very difficult time coming back, being down. If you're down seven with only seven to go, the team with 18 only needs to get seven side outs and they win. Tough serve. Pass well though. Kept alive, gotta go over. And it will, Emory will have to play defense to get this point. Outside, dug up. That's gonna be a net violation. After some good defensive work by both sides and the, especially the Eagles. Net violation, so now all of a sudden it's 12, serving 18. Don't put, these Warhawks can come back. Kept alive somehow by Serb, I don't know how. That one goes down the line, 13-18. Here comes Wisconsin Whitewater back again. I wouldn't be surprised to see a timeout call pretty quickly. Eagles got, have all, all both of theirs left. And only seven points they need to get now to close this match out. You do not want to go to a fifth set with Wisconsin Whitewater. You simply, with anybody, but especially a team that is as dangerous as this. Thirteen looking at eighteen. That's a double hit. Saw that coming. And Schick to come in to play defense in the back row. Change things up a little bit. 14 serves 18. All of a sudden, back to a game like we had in the second. Well passed that time by Schick. Off the hands. Didn't matter, went down anyway. Nicely done by McKnight, bring brought in the middle. Schick with a great pass, nice set, good offensive sequence. 19-14. Passed out. Tough ball there. Thompson tried to get it, unable to touch it, really. This is a great offensive machine when the Warhawks get going. 15 looking at 19. And this young lady has had a lot to say about that. Paige Manson, who's had some good serves as well as being an excellent setter. Dug up this time. McKnight. Doug. McKnight. Wow. Two great takes in a row. Thompson gets it, right side. Not this time. 20 serves 15. Emory re-enters the zone, up five with five to go. McKnight with some great attacks. 
And then in the end, it was Saunders who said, we've had enough here, we're done. 20 serves 15. Logan Van Rieken to serve. That's going to cause all kinds of trouble. It's going to be a free ball back for the Eagles off a great serve. Right side. Down. Saunders again off that block. 21-15. No timeouts left for Wisconsin White. What are they? Burned them both early. And Van Rieken with four points to get. Can she get them? At least one. 21-15. Eagles. And that one didn't clear, so it's 16 serving 21, and make no mistake about it, this team is very capable of coming back as Wisconsin Whitewater. All kinds of defense, the blocks, big, big physical team. 16 looking at 21. Great pass. Miscommunication that time. And Jenny McDowell takes her timeout, takes a timeout there. Wants to talk about the offensive flow because the miscommunication happened in that sequence. And she's only got to get four points to win the match. So you want to be sure everyone's in good communication, good sequence here. 17 looking at 21. Wisconsin Whitewater very, very capable of coming back. They play, our, they're a big team. They don't make many mistakes. And they are a physical, physical bunch. So both teams in the huddles as the timeout will expire pretty quickly. Emery back on the floor. Be interested to see how this pass turns out and where the ball goes. Big block on that left side. That's the only reason it may not go to Tara Martin because it's a, I mean, a big block over there. 17 looking at 21. And that doesn't clear. Big break for the Eagles, 22-17. And Elise Thompson back to serve, and the Libro is a great server as well. It's a great Libro, a great server. Emery with three points to win the match. This one passed off the net. Tip. Thompson kept alive, but cannot keep it in bounds. 18-22. Still a four-point game. Emily Gillen back to serve, and she has had some good runs back there as well. Saunders with a good pass. Down the line, Martin hits it. 23-18, and Martin fired it on the line. Who cares about a big block? Martin went right past it that time. 23-18. Leia Saunders back to serve. Tough serve. This is going to come back, but it's going to be a free ball to the Eagles. And Martin again, and that puts match point on the board for Emory, Tough serve. Way back. It's going to be a roll shot over to the Eagles. Can they close out Wisconsin Whitewater here? Martin, not yet. Partially blocked. Dug up. Serb tried to go over and get it herself, and she almost did. Very rare that she misses those shots because she's got a very live left arm. That time she did. 19-24, still four 
Set points on the board for Emory. Saunders, Martin, dug up, Martin, kept alive, wow, great job by Wisconsin Whitewater, Martin, dug up again, this team plays defense, block, push back. Double hit called on that. Hard to argue with that, although the timing is a little bit uh, sketchy, but referees are referees. They're going to have their calls. 20 looking at 24. Can Emory get on offense and get one? Martin stopped. They, they knew that play was coming. 21-24. Emory still with the one timeout left. Ace. 22 24. And there's that second timeout. Jenny McDowell had to call it. Still set point, but this is the last one that'll be uh, essentially a freebie. I won't say nothing's free in volleyball, but uh, this is the one they want to try and get it on where they can get it on side out, call a good play offensively, get a good pass, and put it away. Difficult rotation for the Eagles right now. This Wisconsin Whitewater team, they are very, very, very tough to deal with. 22 looking at 24, still set point on the board. Depending on how the pass goes, Cassie Serb has a lot of options depending on where the, how the pass is. This is a tough serve coming, I'll tell you that much. Haley Mockentoon is serving very difficult balls. 22 looking at 24. Short serve, dug up. And Emory finally ends it. Martin knocks it off the block, and it goes way on out of bounds. 25-22. Emory wins this one, but it was by no means a walk. 25-15, 25-22, 11-25, Wisconsin Whitewater, and 25-22. Wow. That Wisconsin Whitewater team shows us a lot that they are here, and they're in the top 10 for a reason. They are a very fine team. They do lose Samory, but that could have gone. That set could have gone either way. Set number two could have gone either way. But in the end, a little too much Eagles. 25-22 in the final set. And I'm sure Jenny McDowell is happy to get out of here with the win. 25-22. For Emory in set four, they hit 306. Wisconsin Whitewater only 172, but that defense again is there to stay. Ten blocks for Wisconsin Whitewater, only four for Emory. That's a big physical team. 62 digs for the Eagles versus 52 for Wisconsin Whitewater. Chloe Buechler led all, led the, hit, led the uh, Wisconsin Whitewater attack with 13 kills. Ashton Dahl with 10. Aaron McNeil with 9. Emily Gillen and Rachel Butterfield with 3 apiece. Maggie Streck with 2. Emma Ass with a kill. So nicely split out offense. In the end, it was all about 
Leia Saunders with 19 kills, only four errors, hitting 429. Morgan McKnight, 13 kills. She hit 429 as well. Tara Martin with 11 kills. Rosino Dow with five. Cassie Serb with four kills of her own. Not bad for a setter. Charlie Blair with two. In the back row, Cassie Serb. Check that. Uh, Cassie Serb had a dozen digs. Leia Saunders had a dozen. And the outstanding Libro, Elise Thompson, with 24 digs. That is not a misprint. That's a match set, averaging six per set in that match. That's pretty darn good. Morgan Jensen, the Libro, four. Wisconsin Whitewater had 20, so she did a nice job as well. So a very entertaining match, and what you would expect from a team like Wisconsin Whitewater, not a surprise at all. Very well played, very well put together team, and they are very young, and they are going to be a handful, a big handful in years to come with some experience underneath them. Well, that is going to do it for us today. Join us again at 1.30 Eastern time tomorrow for what will be another big match. Susquehanna, the other team in this tournament who beat Wisconsin Whitewater, will be taking on the homestanding Emory Eagles. and It'll be the last match of the tourney at 1.30 Eastern time tomorrow. For everyone who worked so hard to put these broadcasts together, this is Phil Bush saying we will see you down the road and in the gym. Good night.